Um, I am having to jump in here really quick and do an intro for this because I lost my file that had the intro on it. So I am doing the second part of the Makeup Artist Does a Makeup Artist Face of my Makeup Artist series. How many times can I say Makeup Artist? And this time I'm going to be doing it on my friend Jessica. Um, she did a daytime look for me and I will put a card up and a link down below to where you can go look at that. And then I'm going to do like a nighttime brown smoky eye on her. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to do a voiceover and take you step by step, tell you all the products that I used. It might go a little fast, so be sure and check the description box for all the product links. And if you have any questions, be sure and let me know. But if you are interested to see how I did a brown smoky eye on my friend Jessica, who is also a makeup artist, keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is clip back her hair. Um, and then I just kind of do an assessment of her skin. I was asking her how it is. She was showing me some problem areas that she had. Um, and it was kind of later in the afternoon, so I washed off whatever dirt she had accumulated with a makeup wipe. And now I'm going in with Embryolisse Moisturizer and the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream under her eyes. And then I'm going to use the MAC Lip Conditioner on her lips. That's pretty much a basic prep that I do on every single client to get them ready for the makeup. Now I'm going in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer to prime her skin. She said she had combo oily skin. Um, this works on pretty much everybody. And now I'm going in with a liquid illuminizer just on the high points of her face. Since she has oily skin, I didn't want to put this above. I wanted to kind of bring it and have it be a glow from within look. And finally, I'm using the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and just patting that into her face for extra hydration without being oily. I really do like this product or any kind of oil. I'm priming her eyelids with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and then I'm just going to set that with a cream shadow. I'm actually doing something a little bit different on her. Um, I'm taking whatever foundation I match her to, and I'm using that above the eye primer. Sometimes eye primers, especially the Paint Pot, will make the eye a little too light. And so if I want it to blend and meld into the rest of her face, I also set it with the color that I'm going to be using for the foundation. I set that with powder and now I'm just going into her crease with golden ochre and raw sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. That is what I'm going to be using the most of. Now I am going to be using the ColourPop Gel Liner as a base for her smoky eye. And this color is in Stomper. And I'm just going to apply and blend, apply and blend, apply and blend. A smoky eye is all about blending. And I just wanna take this in little tiny areas and blend as I go so that I don't overdo it. Now I'm going to set that with Cypress Umber from the palette to give it an even deeper brown and to put that a little bit more up into the crease and again, blend it out. Then I'm going to take Real Gar, the matte orange from the crease, and I'm gonna take that on my MAC 217 and I'm going to blend this into the crease while also blending out the edge of the brown. And then I'm gonna go in with Red Ochre and mix that with the Real Gar on the same 217. I am using Tempera on a flat brush to highlight her brow bone and soften the edges of the crease color. Now I'm just taking some green color corrector. She had a couple of problem spots and blemishes, so I'm just color correcting that with a green corrector to kind of downplay the redness in the spots. And then I'm going in with foundation. On her, I used a mixture, which I always mix foundations. I used the L'Oreal Pro Matte in number 107, and I mixed in Matte Pro Longwear in NC37. She's looking at my Beauty Junkie sponge. I'm telling her how good it is. So I mix those two, I paint it on, and then I blend it out with my sponge. 
I believe I also put some Giorgio Armani in there as well. Can't remember what color, but I honestly never do a face without mixing at least two, sometimes up to four colors and formulas. That's just what I prefer to do for some reason. I feel like it really just customizes a face. Now, it was a little lighter than I liked, even though it looks like it matches. I like the face to be a little bit darker because once I highlight and contour, it evens everything out. So I'm just taking a little bit of MAC NC50 and just dotting it on top of her face and blending it in to where it just darkens the face a little bit more. Now I'm using the MAC Extended Play 24 Hour Eye Base underneath her eyes. I feel like it really helps to set and help with creasing on the concealer. I'm correcting first with the Sephora um, Bright Future Corrector in Melon, and then I'm gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear, and I believe I mixed NW25 and NC42 to get this concealer color. I am also gonna go in while I am blending this, um, kind of in the, in the middle, with a little bit of a Graftobian foundation color in a lighter color than her foundation and I'm going to highlight in the high points of her face so the tops of her cheekbones right here the um, bridge of her nose Cupid's bow chin and middle of the forehead pretty standard places to highlight And I'm taking a little, this little sponge is from Morphe. It's their mini sponges. And I like to use those under the eyes. I just feel like it's a lot easier to manipulate the creams that you put underneath the eyes. So that's what I use to blend out that. And then I use the Beauty Junkies to blend out her highlighted areas. Now to contour, I am taking the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Cool Walnut. And I'm placing that in the places that I want to contour her face with. And then I'm going to take a large kabuki brush with my Chanel Soleil Te Dan Chanel, I don't know. You know, the big cream bronzer. And I am putting that on the kabuki brush to blend that Bobbi Brown foundation stick out. Um, this is one of my preferred ways to cream contour. I find it to be the most natural looking and really blown out and blended looking. Now I'm gonna set her under eyes with the damp sponge that I used to blend her concealer out and Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I go between this powder, actually this is the Laura Mercier Translucent. Sometimes I use the Secret Brightening, this is the Translucent. And then I'm gonna take a very small brush, I believe this is a Sigma highlight brush, and I'm going to put it in my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in medium dark and I'm using that to brush off the loose powder. Now I'm going to set her face with that same MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. I'm bronzing her face with the Hula Bronzer from Benefit and a Real Techniques Blush Brush, which is my absolute favorite brush ever for bronzer. I have four of them in my kit. Now I'm taking a MAC 109 brush with a Kat Von D contour color, the lightest one in the palette, and I'm just focusing on the very back of her cheekbone and temples to contour. I don't want anything harsh. I really like a more blown out contour bronzy look. Now I'm taking a mixture of the lightest shade and the yellow shade on a MAC 168 brush, and I'm just kind of cleaning that contour. For blush, I am using MAC Warm Soul with a Morphe E4 blush brush. And I'm also taking a little bit of that blush and putting it into the crease of her eye. I like to do this with my clients. I don't know why. I feel like it just really brings the look together. To highlight, I am mixing probably three different colors from the Glow Kit, the Anastasia Glow Kit and just highlighting on the tops of her cheekbones, Cupid's bow, bridge of nose, pretty much. 
where you normally highlight. And I'm using a Delium Tools brush. I don't know exactly which one. Now I'm taking Hourglass Dim Light and I am buffing, buffing, buffing her face with this powder. I always do this on all of my clients and really think it's just, it makes a huge difference. Now I'm using MAC Fix Plus to spray before I go to her lower lash line where I am going to use Cypress Umber and then I'm going to use a pencil brush to smoke it out with a mixture of the Real Gar and Red Ochre. And then I'm gonna use a fluffier brush with the Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna to really smoke it out. Now I'm going to tightline and waterline. It looks like I am really yanking on her lid here, but I assure you I'm not. Um, I am using a MAC, I don't know, I don't know what it is, one of their eyeliner brushes. And the, um, but I either use the Maybelline gel liner in brown or the Inglot number 90 gel liner, but it is a brown color. And now I'm using the Salon Perfect 615 lashes. Both of us absolutely love these lashes and I just thought it went very nicely with the smoky eye. So I use those and now I'm going to her brows where I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, my preferred choice for a pencil. I did not want to do heavy brows. When I go really heavy on the eyes, I tend to go very natural on the brows. So I use that pencil and then I'm just gonna fill it in with some powder. Um, I probably mixed two or three of these colors as well. These are MAC eyeshadow colors that I used for my eyebrow kit. Now I'm just using a disposable wand, putting some mascara to meld her natural lashes with her false lashes, and then putting some on her lower lashes as well. Now I'm just gonna cover up that lash line and the glue that might still be showing with a little bit of that Stomper gel liner from ColourPop. I'm gonna take Primavera from the palette and highlight her inner corner. And for lips, I am using MAC Strip Down, which is even half the size now as it is in this video. It's my favorite go-to liner for clients. And I'm going to use MAC Peach Stock for her lipstick, and I'm going to top that with a gloss of MAC, I think it's the Bared to You lip gloss. I don't have my kit with me right now, but it's a neutral slash peachy lip gloss color. So I just put that on top of the Peach Stock. And then I'm going to spray her with, I believe I'm using the Scandinavia setting spray right now. It's in the Makeup Forever bottle, but that's what it is. And then she is all done. I thank you so much for watching y'all. Let me know what you thought of this look um, and if you have any questions. And as always, y'all have a very blessed day.